A health alert tonight as the warm weather approaches. Tick season is here and there are several things that you can do to protect yourself. Let's get right to our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. Uh, we'll be talking ticks here. What 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 uh, information can we take away from this? And you know, as we were just talking before yeah. the break, everybody can get them. And ticks carrying disease can be found almost anywhere in the United States, and Michigan is no exception. Ticks feed in the blood of animals, including us. Now they can cause serious illnesses by infecting us with bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Lyme disease is commonly spread by ticks and if left untreated, it can lead to severe problems like with heart issues, memory problems, brain and nervous system problems. Last year, there were 221 known human cases of Lyme disease with two out of three reportedly picked up in our own state. So where do they live, Doc? So Linda, what we, we, don't, we know now is that you'll find these back like a deer tick easily in the western, upper, and lower peninsulas, but they're on the move, expanding into new territory across Michigan. Great, right? Ticks love moist and humid environments like wooded areas or grassy places. You may also find them in your yard, in wood piles, bird feed, feeders, and overgrown grasses and shrubs. So, Other than living in a bubble, what can we do to protect ourselves? <laughs> Please don't live in a bubble. Yeah. The best way to protect yourself is to prevent tick bites, so my prescription. So number one, use insect repellent on skin and clothing. Use uh, 20 to 30% DEET or Picardian uh, products on skin and permethrin products on your clothes. Always read directions and please follow instructions, obviously. Avoid overgrown grass and brushes in the walk in the middle of the trails. Also check your entire body for ticks after spending time outside. A handheld mirror can help to view hard to see areas. Check your pets too as they can bring ticks home. Uh, Great. Shower within two hours after coming indoors to wash off ticks. Washing clothing in hot water and dry off, dry on high heat to kill off any ticks on your clothes. We had a photographer come in with one on his arm and he kind of plucked it off. Is it, can you do it that way or well, how should you talking about that. It's a great question, Glenna. So do yeah. not use your fingers to remove a tick. You want to use tweezers, grab it firmly as close to your body as possible. Then pull it away from your skin using a steady motion. Wipe the area with antiseptic uh, and then watch for any signs of fever, rash, muscle or joint pains. If your chances of getting Lyme disease are very small if the tick was attached for less than 20 hours, 24 hours. But if you experience any symptoms, please talk to your doctor right away. When I was a kid, we used to, my dad would take a cigarette and hold it right behind the tick and they'd back out because the heat is getting intense. They'd back out to get away and then you snag them before you. Mm. But nowadays we have to use a tweezer. Uh, just to yeah. take them out of the tweezer. In case you don't. <laughs> or lighter or something hot. Exactly. They don't like the heat. They don't like the heat. That's exactly okay. right. Yeah, exactly. All right, All right, Doc. Thank you. And if you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at Dr. Nandy and WXYZ.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter and we'll get it right to him.